This is the Autoblogger. Use it to generate thousands of SEO optimized articles that will get you traffic to your Shopify store, which will hopefully get you more sales. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and then how those AI generated articles look on your Shopify blog. Let's get into it. First things first, head on over to autoblogger.app. It will bring you to this sign up page. So I'm going to sign up. My name is Wes GPT. My email is heywestfrank at gmail.com. I'm going to enter my password and hit sign up. It will immediately send you to the settings page. Now, there are a few things we need to configure in order to use the Autoblogger app. First, we need an OpenAI secret key. To get this key, go to platform.openai.com. And on the left side, we're going to hover over API keys. Click create new secret key. I'm going to call it Shopify Blogger. Hit create secret key, copy this key, and then paste it in this input box right here. To see if everything is connected correctly, I can click the start button to test the OpenAI connection. And it's going to take 30 to 60 seconds because we're testing GPT 3.5, GPT 4, Dolly 2, and Dolly 3. We're doing all this in the back end to make sure everything works as expected. And if everything is all good, you're going to get a check mark in the button. This means that the API call was a success. Next, we need to click the Shopify tab. We're going to add a new store and fill in all of these details. For the website name, I'm going to call it Plush Toys. And to get the X Shopify access token, the Shopify store URL, and then the blog slug, I have to go to my Shopify dashboard. In the dashboard, go to settings on the left side. And what you see right here is usually your Shopify URL. Now, it's important not to paste in your custom domain if you have one connected. It's whatever your original Shopify domain is. Because I haven't connected a domain yet, I have this eight digit string and then my Shopify.com. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and then paste it in the Shopify store URL right here. Next, I'm going to go to apps and sales channels, develop apps, create an app. I'm going to call it Shopify Blogger, hit create app. Go to Configure Admin API Scopes, and in this search box, I'm going to search for Blog. That pops up Write and Read Content. All I have to do is click Write. It checks both of them. Click Save. Then click Install App. Install. And then this is your Shopify access token. So I'm going to click Reveal Token once, then copy to Clipboard, and paste it right here. Now for the Blog Slug, I'm going to close the settings. Go to online store, click blog posts, then manage blogs, and then select the blog that you want to auto generate the articles to. By default, you start with a news blog. So I'm just going to click this one. And the number that we need is at the end of the URL slug. I'm going to copy this number and paste it right in here. Now I can click test Shopify connection. And if it all goes through correctly, it's going to add your Shopify store right here. If I'm an agency or I have multiple Shopify stores, I can always add another one by clicking this button. But for this video, I'm just going to use this one store called Plush Toys. Next, I'm going to go to subscription. What you have written in the account name is also going to be your Shopify author name when you auto generate the articles. So if I change this to Mike Smith and ran a test article, here it is right here. I'm going to scroll down on the right side and under author, it says Mike Smith. So if the author name is important to you, just make sure these details are correct. Now you need to subscribe to the Autoblogger. I'm going to click the subscribe button here. Now I tried to make the Autoblogger as cheap as humanly possible, and I settled on $9 per month. If you were hosting the bubble template on your own website, it would cost $32 per month. This is three and a half times cheaper. It allows me to push changes automatically whenever they're ready add new features, listen to your requests, support your accounts, and all this can be done without you having to download a new template each time, set it all up again, send me your bubble URL if you're having problems or issues. This is definitely the best way to do it. I recommend switching over to here. Now I'm gonna enter in my card details and subscribe to the plan. If everything's a success, on the subscription tab now, you'll get something that says manage subscription, and then a button that says go to portal. 
And if you click this button, you'll be able to modify, cancel, or view previous invoice details. Okay, now we're all set up. So I'm gonna click this icon in the top left corner and we can start using the Autoblogger to generate articles for our website. This is super exciting. Okay, first we get to choose a website from the drop-down box. I'm gonna choose Plush Toys. If you have multiple ones connected, they will all show up here. Next, I get to choose my language model. We have GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-3.5 Turbo. Let's do an article GPT-4 Turbo. Next, I get to select my image model. I have Dolly 2, Dolly 3. We didn't connect Stable Diffusion 3 in this video, but that's also an option. That's the brand new Stable Diffusion model. And then we have no image as an option if you want to add your own later. I'm gonna use Dolly 3. Then I can select my language. We have a bunch already to choose from. If your language is not here in the drop-down list, please write a comment below and I will immediately add it to the autoblogger. But let's do it in English. And then we need to select our post interval. This is in hours. A value of one means that a new article is generated every hour on the hour until all of your keywords are up. That's perfect for now. Then I have to enter my keyword list. And for that, I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna write, Give me a bunch of relevant keywords for articles around plush toys. Now you can do your own keyword research, however you do it. If you use Ahrefs, if you use Google Ads Keyword Planner, or if you just know a bunch of keywords related to your niche, you can type them in the input box already. But I like to use this to get new ideas. If you think this be a cool feature for the Autoblogger app, please write that in the comments below. We could add a keyword generator to this thing so you don't have to go do your own research. I'm gonna send this message through, and I really like these five right here. I'm gonna start copying these keywords, pasting them into the keyword list. I'm gonna hit enter. It creates a tag, which means that keyword is ready to go. Let's take the next one, collectible plush toys. Paste that in, hit enter. Let's do educational plush toys as well. Hit enter. Therapeutic plush toys. Let's hit enter. And then pet plush toys. There we go. Now you can input up to 100 keywords at a time for each workflow. You can create unlimited workflows, but I'm capping it at 100 for each particular one. So let's say you had a list of 200 potential keywords. I'd put 100 of them in this input box, generate the posts, then paste the other 100 in, click generate posts again. Then the auto blogger would run continuously until all of those keywords have been generated. So for the first workflow with 100 keywords, you could do 100 divided by 24 hours in a day. All of your articles would be completed in just over four days. Next, we have an option for a link URL and link text to be put at the end of the article. This is good for internal linking, especially in a Shopify store if you wanna link your article to a particular product. So in my Shopify store, I'm gonna to go to products. Let's create a new product. I'm gonna call it Elephant Plush Toy and pretend it was $29. I'm gonna click save. Then I would find that URL for the plush toy. This is just a preview URL, but you would have a live URL. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it in this input box. And then for the link text, I could write something like, check out the best elephant plush toy on the market. And in our article, this text would be hyperlinked to that product page. Now we're all done, I can click generate posts. We get a notification that our articles are being written by the AI. Please check back later to see the results. I'm gonna click okay. It clears all the inputs so I can start again. But if I go to workflows, I can see my latest workflow that's running for five keywords. I can cancel this workflow if I no longer wanna write articles for those keywords. Or I can click the five keywords and see what I'm writing articles for. This page will have a list of all the workflows currently running. When it's done, the status will say completed. It's been a few minutes and my first article has been generated and it was automatically pushed to my Shopify store. This is the image that Dolly3 created. Look at all the plush toys. You got a bunch of elephant ones there too. There's the title, The Joy of Children's Plush Toys. And we have a full article around that keyword. At the end is a hyperlink, so I'm gonna click it and it goes to the elephant plush toy page. Perfect, everything's working as expected. If you want to use the Autoblogger app yourself, a link will be in the description below. 
any feature requests, put them in the comments. I love to read them. I will build them all immediately. And if you like this video, there's two more on the screen right now. I've chosen the two most suited for you. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, learn a bit more about AI, and I'll see you in there. Peace.